Welcome to our Google AdWords tutorial. In our 10th video, we'll demonstrate tools to help you build successful keyword lists for your advertising campaigns. In this video, I'll show you how to use a couple of tools that will help you build up a keyword list for your Google Ads. There are basically two tools, and the first is what is known as the Google Keyword Tool. In your Google account, simply click on Tools, and then on Keyword Tool, and you'll see that there are two ways of working with this tool, which used to be called the Google Sandbox. It's no longer necessarily called that, but it's the same thing. First, you can enter keywords in this box and find related keywords. Or you can find site-related keywords. Let's quickly go through the options. First, keyword variations. Sticking with our existing theme, let's search for keywords on antique tables. Are we going to use synonyms? Let's say yes. Then click on Get More Keywords. And Google does a search. And as you can see, it brings back a lot of results. Antique table, antique pool table, French antique table, and so on. So you'll find a lot of suggestions for keywords you might wish to use. What it also does, which is very useful, is that it tells you broadly the search volume for the keyword phrase. In other words, how many people are searching for it in quantity, and how much competition there is. If you click here, Search Volume, it sorts the list. If you click again, it sorts from smallest to the largest. And if you click again, it returns us to the first choice, which was a sorted list from the largest volume at the top to the smallest at the bottom. Obviously, keywords with a lower volume of searches will yield fewer impressions for your ads and fewer people clicking through. However, sometimes you might be interested in those phrases because where there's less traffic, there might also be less competition for your ad. In that way, they can be quite useful, but you'd have to add a lot of them for it to be really beneficial. You can also sort by advertiser competition. Sorting by descending order, you see that Antique Table is very competitive, as is Antique Tables and Drop Leaf Table. There's slightly less competition for Antique Coffee Table, and so on until you get to phrases with very little competition, for example, Wine Spectator Vintage Chart. As you see here, you can download your keywords in various formats or even add them to your existing campaigns. Now what you may want to look for are keywords with little competition but lots of search volume. For examples from this list, Antique Bedside Tables shows very little competition but at least some search volume. It could be that few people are aiming their advertising at this keyword phrase because there isn't much money in it, but it might still be worth your consideration. It's certainly something you should pay attention to. You might sometimes be able to find pockets of profit, as they're sometimes called, where there is little competition even though people are searching for that keyword phrase. Note that if you wish, you can choose the campaign or the ad group, and you can add keyword phrases directly there if you wish. For example, if we chose Antique Coffee Table, it appears here. And if I add more, such as Antique Coffee Tables, and Add, and when I'm ready to finalize my list, I just click on Save to Ad Group but I'm not going to do that just yet. Anyway, that's one very useful tool for finding additional keywords. 
Now if you click the Site Related Keyword tab, this is where you find a web address. Here's where you might want to search your competitor's site or your own site to strip out all the relevant keywords you might want to use in your advertising campaign. Let's find a relevant site. I'll search Google for antique tables just to find some relevant websites and you might want to do this with a number of websites to get as many keywords as possible. Let's take this example. I'll just select this site, right click, copy, and go back to Google's AdWords and right click, paste. Make sure there's HTTP at the start. And do we want to include other pages on the site linked from this URL? Let's say no in this instance. Click on Get Keywords, and Google does a search. And let's see what it found. Showing keywords grouped by these terms antique chair, antique dining, antique furniture, antique furniture, and miscellaneous keywords. You see that it groups them together. Antique chairs, antique chair, antique dining, and so on. Once again, you see that you get search volumes and advertiser competition. So this is another way to get lots of keywords by, in essence, spying on your competitor's website. It's also a good way to get lots of keywords from your own site easily rather than having to go through it manually. As you can see, there are lots and lots of results that the system has returned, so it's a very useful tool. Okay, let's go to this tool. It's at inventory.overture.com. If you just type in inventory.overture.com, it takes you there. This is actually part of Yahoo Search Marketing. If you go to searchmarketing.yahoo.com, this is where you'll land. Yahoo Search Marketing is basically the direct competition to Google AdWords. They change their website regularly, but you can find the same tool on this website if you look around but the shortcut is inventory.overture.com. Again, you can search for phrases such as antique table, and it searches the previous month. It gives you keyword counts and related keywords. As we see, antique table, antique pool table, antique dining table, coffee table, and so forth. As you can see, there's a lot of duplication. Alongside each one, there's the count, in this case, 889. So according to Yahoo, in January of 2007, there were 889 searches in its search engine for antique pool table. Keep in mind, this isn't across the whole Internet, but according to this tool, however accurate you believe it is, Yahoo is telling us that they had just under 900 searches for antique pool table. If you click on this, it drills down to give you even more niche keywords, such as antique Brunswick pool table, antique pool table for sale, antique pool table light, and so on. Now this tool doesn't offer any method of exporting the keywords, but it's simply a matter of clicking, holding, and dragging, then right click and copy and then copy them into a document, clean them up, and add them to your ad groups if you wish to. So these are two great tools, the Google AdWords Keyword Tool and the Yahoo Search Marketing Keyword Selector Tool. Between these two tools, you'll find a huge range of possibilities for setting up new campaigns and getting a lot of traffic, and preferably getting a lot more on-target traffic to help grow your business if you select your keywords carefully.